Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Richman, again, talking about uh, labor analgesia. I'm one of the anesthesiologists at Community Memorial Hospital, a member of the Ventura Anesthesia Medical Group that provides anesthesia services here. Your nurse and doctor have decided that you need an epidural for labor, and we're happy to uh, provide that service. The epidural itself, as I mentioned earlier, is a safe and effective technique for labor analgesia. It takes away most, pretty much quite a bit, of the uh, discomfort of labor. And um, it tends to decrease the, uh, the trauma uh, of the first, especially the first child, by allowing you a more slow, slow labor progression. And uh, we have found that it decreases the, chance, decreases the chances of C-section in the first pregnancy. So the epidural um, has been requested. In about 20, 30 minutes, you should see an anesthesiologist. He'll introduce him or herself to you. And uh, hopefully you've had some understanding, some education before you meet us of what the epidural is. It's on the YouTube, and you might be seeing this, obviously, more than once. So we're going to have you um, sign a consent that you give us permission to do the epidural. We're going to ask you a medical history, allergies, medications, injuries. We can't do the epidural if you've had back surgery, like uh, Harrington rods or um, lumbar disc disease. In that case, we can do something else called a labor spinal, but I won't talk about that today. When you're uh, ready for the epidural, some of my colleagues will do the epidural in the sitting position, as will I. Some of us will do it lying down, and I do most of my epidurals lying down, curled up. We want you to be curled up because when you curl up, bend over your baby, the spines kind of separate, and the needle goes more easily between the spinous processes. The epidural is um, not a painful technique. It hurts less than the IV because we actually numb the skin quite a bit where they don't numb the skin usually when they start the IV. The epidural um, is, needle is placed, and then we give a test dose of medication uh, to make sure that we're not in a vein or not doing a spinal, which is very, very rare. Uh, then we put a catheter in the epidural space. The needle comes out, the catheter remains, and then we tape the catheter to your back so that we can give you the epidural analgesia for the length of your labor. Uh, first stage of labor is getting the, the initial dilation um, up to pushing, and then the second stage is when you push and have birth. Third stage is the placenta, which is not really too painful, I don't think, but I'm not a woman. Um, but we're there for you. The epidural stays in until you're absolutely through having your baby and your afterbirth. Uh, the epidural does make your bottom kind of warm, your legs a little bit fuzzy sometimes initially, but we want it to wear off to the degree where you can move your legs, even help the nurse move yourself from side to side. One of the um, side effects of the epidural is you cannot feel the urge to urinate. So every mom with an epidural has to have a catheter for urine placed about an hour after the epidural is uh, inserted. The epidural is also attached to a computer, that little machine over there, with a little patient-controlled epidural analgesia button. It's programmed by us so that you can give yourself extra medicine as needed as you get farther along in labor or you have a, a window, uh, what we say a window that some of the epidural medicine doesn't give you the analgesia in one area. We have you lie on that area that's spared, push the button, within about 15 minutes you should feel much better. The epidural sometimes takes away your urge to push initially, which is not a bad deal because a nurse doctor may decide that you should just relax during that second stage of labor, what's called laboring down. And um, so instead of pushing for two or three hours, like my wife did our first child, you might push for much less than that. The epidural catheter then comes out after the baby and the afterbirth are, um, are delivered, and uh, your legs go back to normal within a couple hours, usually with much within the, uh, the two-hour period. Uh, the epidural, uh, if it has any issues such as redness or irritation, please tell your doctor to call the anesthesiologist. I have rarely seen such uh, situations as that. Any more questions, ask your doctor to provide you more information either on YouTube or with the Department of Anesthesia. MedTwice.com